It's pretty much a marathon this weekend. Yeah. You know Does anyone else have a uh, stepometer? Anyone else have a stepometer? All right, here we go. If you are today over 20,000 <laughs> steps, you are par for the course. Do not give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> that is how MFF works. This isn't a fur con, it's a health clinic. <laughs> Well, at least, at least MFF got over nice and quick so we can get to the real event here, which is, uh, you know, Red Line. Red Line! Oh, yeah. Just it never ends. That's why I flew in on Saturday. No, no, no. No, I love, I love it. Oh. So, oh, is this happening already? God, yes. No. Why? So, I give you apple pie moonshine. Real moonshine? Yes. Homemade moonshine? Yes. In a bathtub moonshine? No! Your bathtub moonshine? No! In a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> I want to see that commercial where LeBron James is down in it. <laughs> I just like hitting the door. And he's just swerving everywhere. <laughs> Alright, oh, boy. Let's see if I go blind. Go for it. Your sweat will turn colors. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Congratulations! You didn't kill him. <laughs> He should have somebody taste test it first. <laughs> I had I some taste worried. testing stuff. All it right. didn't work out. What? Oh. God damn it! It's a pilot. <laughs> oh no. No, it's a time traveler. Oh, oh. <laughs> time pilot. Time pilot. Guys, official cookbook. Walking Dead cookbook. Dead. Guys, I have the book on how to cook so corpses. Yeah. because we had to go to this location and we needed we needed a picture frame so we went to the dollar store and unfortunately they didn't have picture frames but what they had instead were those you know, those cheesy things quotes. that are like they're like oh Jesus and oh hope and like you know they have like little cardboard oh, things Jesus. so we were we, we bought it and we're like oh, that's a couple bucks and we ripped the little cardboard thing that said hope in it out and then we're like what are we gonna oh, we're just gonna throw it out and then we were at a gas station filling his car and you just go I love gasoline it smells good what happens if we just did this in gasoline and then light it on fire we were just like wait a minute we're like we know what we need to do we need to destroy hope <laughs> we're like oh my gosh and we're like oh my god there was one of those like just the light just we're like oh that's it we we're like this is how we're gonna do it we like we knew how we we're gonna film it knew how we we're gonna do everything we had all the plans we, we destroyed hope we blew it up you could have sold that at a Chicago museum you realize yeah. that right <laughs> I've seen some modern art that would sell oh that actually my favorite story in the Chicago O'Hare airport um, so I uh, before I was a, before I was a furry I uh, was doing the summer camp for aviation and what ended up happening is there was um, basically an exhibit at the airport of art and what ended up happening is there was a curator there because there had to be a curator there or else somebody would probably steal the art because it's Chicago and what ended up happening is I was looking at this one painting and the curator comes up to me and it's like and because I did art I knew what art looked like and I was a pretentious fuck. So what I ended up doing is I was looking at it, it's like, do you like the piece? It's like, and I just look at it and it's just like, looks like it was painted with somebody's dick. You wanna know what the face he gave me? <laughs> that means you're not wrong. <laughs> and I just look back and I was like, no way! Now I want it! I still want a portrait by Picasso. Oh, Picasso! Yeah. Picasso! Picasso! 
You know who they need our band? Andy fucking Warhol! Yeah! There we go. It's their turn. You like soup? How about four of them? I'm Andy fucking Warhol. Four times, I'm Andy Warhol. I'm Andy fucking Warhol. God, this just reminds me of the stream. Remember? Four drawings. Oh, oh, yes. oh Four drawings. God. Andy fucking Warhol, bitches. Andy fucking Warhol. I just, I just want to say the, uh, the content is a friendly skies. I'm so proud that I haven't seen any drones around. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Fuck you. It's <laughs> Sorry, Scream. Ladies and gentlemen, a member of staff and terrified of everything that we say, Scream. Attaches, you know, propellers to a bad dragon dildo and flies after the lava. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's only okay if we have Flight of the Valkyries playing and attack the dildo statue. <laughs> Russian roulette, but only just. What you do is you attach dildos to your ceiling fan, and you all stand in a circle. One of you's gonna get hit in the face. Well, as I've told Paradox, I want to actually turn one of our fans, instead of it actually being the blades of a fan, just, you know, five chances to those, and it just spins around and flops. I mean, the, the air flows would be terrible. The sound effects would be great. Those are just really aerodynamic. She'd be like, excuse me, what's up with your electric bill? Oh. Okay. Malcolm, we have to up our tildo game. <laughs> no, yes. you do not, because you are forgetting when we first joined ooh, the fandom. Ooh. You, think, you think my cat's scared of the fan now? <laughs> <laughs> Your cat is afraid of everything! We had company over last week. We were having a party. Everything grinded to a screeching halt because his cat popped her head out and sat in the room judging us. <laughs> and until that moment, 
when we had found out that at least five people in my house did not believe we owned a cat. <laughs> they thought we were just shitting in the sandbox in the corner. How big is this cat? <laughs> She's a horma kitten. Like, this thing always looks like a kitten, but it's so terrified of everything. And Alexa scares it, and she has figured out how to trigger Alexa, which means it's just a cycle of shitting herself. <laughs> just, you can tell that she has been, it's just pee, shit, cats. It's like, oh, Alexa turned out. Great. <laughs> Sometimes she will shit, scare herself, and not bury her shit. Oh, yeah. like, God damn it. I was more worried about whoever was shooting very small or someone who was shooting very huge. If there was a cat, it's got puma or something. That you had in your house. <laughs> no, we just got a puma hanging out. Wow, oh, puma. Thank you. It's not a puma. <laughs> not a puma. Not God a puma. damn it, dude. Who was that? I can't lie. Nicely done. Thanks, man. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look at all the other hosts in the back of the room right there. In suit. Oh, hi! <laughs> we have I, I forgot, I forgot, I'm doing them now. Okay. Alright, so, uh, if you subscribe to our Patreon at some random level, I don't even remember Ten. anymore. Ten? Yeah. Great. You get to ask us shit, and we make fun of the question and then ourselves. So, we're gonna oh, start off- that's a really off. good idea. We should do that on our Patreon. I'm excited. Yeah, no, there are some bad questions. Oh, Sometimes we have to email people. It's like, here's the answer. This email will self-destruct in ten minutes. <laughs> Quick, yeah, Patreon, I'll tell you, but I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Patreon, Bruh. Patreon, what's that? <laughs> it's the only thing that loves us. <laughs> As a YouTuber or a podcaster, you're just like Patreon. You understand me. You'll let me have health insurance. <laughs> Excuse me, your Patreon has just withdrawn. They're thirty dollars per month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our first question from Wheat Thins. Hi, Wheat Thins. Hi, Wheat Thins. Hi. 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 Oh. Hi. oh. They're in the oh, audience. Oh, you're in the room. You're a delicious oh, snack. Nice. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I want to smother cheese on you. Anybody in New York? <laughs> there are, okay. I you appreciate your notice? honesty. Has anyone noticed there has definitely been an uptick in the amount of people who are openly in divorce yes. and an uptick in the amount of furries who are naming themselves after food? Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the question that has nothing to do with sex. Apple or pumpkin pie to fuck on Thanksgiving? Never mind. <laughs> Which would you rather fuck, an apple or a pumpkin pie? No, oh, it's got witches. <laughs> Punch up. I have nothing 
but admiration for your sick, twisted mind. Thank you. <laughs> All right, second question. We're going to go over to Shukin from Shukin. Hi, Shukin. Hi. Shukin! You're Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. It's weird that the question people are showing up. I don't know how to feel about this. We <laughs> should meet them face to face. Yeah. We, we are in our backyard. If it's a bad question, can we all stare at them? Oh, yes, we can. We do that on the podcast. I like this now. Can they come to the front of the room? <laughs> oh. <laughs> We want to stare into your eyes while we answer the question. Everybody should get back to the You should have him read the question. I totally agree. Shukin, would you please read your question if you don't remember it? Here it is. Do you regret this? <laughs> What's your funniest camping story? Also, drink, would you kindly? Oh. Got him. All right, you got me with a would you kindly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with one poison. Oh, fine, I'll try to. Oh, we're choosing. Oh my, okay, okay. You move booze okay. in a radius, I take it. Alright, I actually. I have a way to answer this. This is a really funny story. Um, because it's how I got into the fandom. Nice! <laughs> so let me tell you the story of how one single backpacking trip. Made me a furry. <laughs> okay, so what ended up happening is I used to do 4-H, and what we ended up doing is my mother said, all right, it's summer, you don't want to go, fuck it. You're going on a backpacking trip. And I was like, okay. Um, by the end, like, due to certain unfortunate circumstances, my brother got sick, a bunch of other people didn't go, so I was stuck with um, two people who just joined 4-H. Uh, one, this one girl who was really nice, her brother, who was a dick, and this one other kid who was just looked as like more pasty than a cancer patient, and oh, uh, this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this other really tall guy who was like with a neckbeard, obviously. So we um, obviously, obviously. neckbeard. Yeah. I shaved a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you did. Not enough scrotum face. All right. <laughs> So, what ended up happening is obviously I'm camping with Neckbeard Boy. And what ended up happening is we got these little notebooks. But you give kids notes, and we were supposed to jot down like, uh, like our journals of what we did, the magical experiences we had out in the wilderness. But no, we're kids. All we do is draw dicks in the books. And are you sure this was in gay conversion camp? <laughs> Every camp is gay conversion camp if you're bored enough. <laughs> What is the saying um, for, for, um, for some reads? Uh, 50 men go in and 25 couples come out. Holy <laughs> shit! What the shit, dude? <laughs> okay, uh, continuing. So what ended up happening is the first night, um, so I've always been, this was like when I really started getting into art. It was like my third year doing it. I was junior year in high school, and what ended up happening is I drew dragons, because why the fuck wouldn't you draw dragons? Dragons are cool as shit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. There was a tumble once. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, you know you're a real loser when you even fail at killing yourself. Whoa! Okay. Anyway, my bad. That was that was too far. All right. No, it's not. That was the proper humor for the show. We are sick people. Thank you all for okay. being sick people with us. Okay. Anyways. I'm sorry for that. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I am legitimately sorry for that comment. But, okay, so I stayed, and he, he decided he wanted to draw too. And he was like, yeah, I know I draw a little bit. And I look at, down at what he drew, it's like, it's kind of like a pony. <laughs> Are you a brony? And it's just like, the guy responded back like this. Ooh, and I'm just like, this is edging me. I used to play sports, like extreme sports, mountain biking. So I'm like, this jock's like, ah, oh, I hate furries, I hate brownies, eh. And I was just like, ah, oh, shit. Because I'm stuck with this guy for a week as my roommate. But he was really nice. Right. The best Mickey Mouse impression I've ever heard. It was great. Nothing, nothing like waking up in the morning. He's like, oh, I'm gonna murder your family and rape your wife. So it's really, it's really good job in the morning. Impressions. Like a pick of this con a few years back. 
when one of our roommates sounded exactly like Hank Hill. So he just kept calling other rooms and be like, Strickland, I can't come in today. And they would just go through all this stuff and be like, Lady Bird. Jeez. So, uh, so that was, was the second night. And then by the third night, uh, I used to like this old show called American Dragon, which basically is... Yes. Which is basically... Yeah, which is basically the furry conversion show. Like, that was the conversion, like, you, you know how you have stages, like, we have Robin Hood, we have the Lion King, we have Zootopia now. It's like, that was, like, in the 2000s, American Dragon was like, yep, you're a furry now. Yeah. Was that the new Spyro? Uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. No, I grew up in the shit age of, not, it, I grew up in the age of shit 2000s cartoons. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I felt better than the new ones. Ooh. Uh, I forgot what that was. Right. No, it was, it was like, what's your camping trip? Camping. Oh. So, uh, we got on the discussion of furries. And... a, hey. hey. And basically, he's like, yeah, they're not all that bad. And she's like, I just like, hey, Theory, you're a furry. And he's like, yes. It's like, fuck. Damn it, I'm stuck with everything I hate. <laughs> I'm one tent. And I'm not miserable. So I think I should probably rethink my life. And then, um, and then uh, a week after I got back, I decided, eh, why not? And I drew a furry, and then I was like, oh no. Shit, I like this. Oh. <laughs> Went down a rabbit hole. Damn, what cool were you turned into? Oh yeah, if, if like edgy high school could see me now, he'd just be like legitimately like looking at me like, yeah. I yeah. am, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we actually have an artist friend whose real reason for getting into furry art, and it was the most breathtaking explanation I've ever heard. It says, I went to school for art, and penises are just two straight lines in the head, but animal cocks are weird and imaginative. <laughs> <laughs> and for a moment, I said, dude, you are so brilliant. <laughs> I never thought like an artist. That has to get really boring. It's like, and penetration. But now it's animal guys like, wee, this will kill half of you. I've never seen a duck penis. Oh, no, it's great. No one hasn't survived. No one has seen a duck penis and survived. That was the scariest video I've ever watched in my entire life. What's the fucked up? Oh, my God. Are you talking about the squeeze the duck? Yes. That's a fucked up video. An artist showed me. So, just so you know, we all know dolphins, rapists, yeah? yeah. You know that? Ducks, worst rapists. Yeah. Oh. Female ducks, their vaginas are just mazes. Just that's, it's that's like a labyrinth. labyrinth. Yeah. Which leads me to believe that means they have so much. What? A labyrinth. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh, it's really funny because I'm asexual, so when I look at porn and stuff, it's just like... That's cool. Well, it's like, because one of the things, especially when drawing it, it's like, you mess with the anatomy in ways so that you can show the giblets. So it's like, uh, that penis is kind of far off from the crotch region. Are you sure that's really where it's supposed to go? And just like, yeah, the intestines are kind of fucked there. And it's just like... They go that deep with it? No, it's, it's just like, oh, that arm's really long, so that looks like it's a wrapping around and choking them. But like, it, it, if it were really drawn like that, it would be like half that length. One of the things that blows my mind is whenever like some person, you, you ever come into contact with somebody, maybe at work, maybe somewhere, where they're like, they're like, man, have you ever seen like a horse dick? Like it's crazy. And I just be like, yeah, yeah, I know. And then they're like, wait, so you've seen one? And I'm just like, um. But it's one of those things where you kind of you remind yourself that. Normal people don't, you know, know that much about. I can say normal people don't have anything to do because my school used to do uh, donkey, uh, I think it was basketball, and that ended real quickly when one of the donkeys went in heat and there was a bunch of erections all across the basketball floor in the court of the high school, and then one of them went and all over the floor, and that was the last time we ever had a donkey show. <laughs> you just wait. You're gonna learn all this stuff about dicks, and then you'll be in the perfect situation where it's a category in jeopardy. <laughs> you are close! There it is! Oh good, he's here! It was one of the first times that he had ran password. Oh no. 
That's right. Iggy, why don't you stand up for a moment and wave to the room? Iggy is our resident game show expert. Now, Iggy, give me my go ahead. Now, right. Iggy was in charge of, and I do apologize, which is the one that's uh, multiple things. You can just keep talking until they say the words. Is that password? That's yeah. Pyramid. Pyramid. It was Pyramid. The very first time we did Pyramid, maybe close to the first time, and it was here. It was MFF years and years ago, and he was running it. And one of the categories was a very cleverly named way of saying animals. It was all different types of animals. And do you remember what happened, my friend? It's been it's a long time ago. It is a long time ago. There's been a lot of categories. Oh, good. Then, then just work. look at the audience, and I'll let you remember, and they can watch the expression. He handed me a card of six different animals, and the moment he handed it to me, I realized that as a furry, I knew how each one of them fucked. <laughs> Thanksgiving's coming up next year, guys. 
we kept were... good ones. We thought this would work really well. We forgot that this was after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Shut up, Twister! <laughs> you are tasked with creating a Dragon Show rendition of the famous turducken. What's in it? Oh, yeah. We kept this one for you guys to do live because we're going to need everyone up here self. Guys, we have to recreate the turducken Dragon Show style. What the fuck are doing? We're not making a turducken! <laughs> but a little bit more salty right in the middle. <laughs> oh, it's the guy who fucked that chicken sandwich on the Twitters. So... Thank you, Alice. Yes. <laughs> See, you, you know how to basic... Oh, yes. oh my I feel God. like that's just what you guys would do, just with slightly more dildos. <laughs> we keep watching How to Basic, all the videos, the fact that like, he never has any pants, and we're just sitting there like, who could that be? That's like yeah, 10 thought it was our friend know. Meek. What? We thought it was our friend Meek for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, Turducken's, we need, we need a large thing to start it off with. Because you think... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't your species going extinct? Well, <laughs> well I mean, uh, let's just say this is the only way I'm getting stuffed. <laughs> Turducken is pandas, and we do have the Walking Dead cookbook, you're right? So, so far, so good. Now, what are we jamming into pandas? Katana! Xander! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Are you just having us murder each other? <laughs> Wait, he said there was a katana story. So the katana story was literally just told in another panel. <laughs> we are not doing that again. We are not doing yes. that again. You made love to a katana? Special with, edition of Cooking with Alkali. You Alkali. explain him! <laughs> <laughs> was it the, like, the soft edge, or was it sheep? You shut up! <laughs> <laughs> There's so many questions. Like. You know, I still like the audience suggestion of Xander. Just Xander. <laughs> uh, Alright, so so far, in my mind, Pandas came over for a nice Friendsgiving. He might have bought coleslaw. We looped up Xander and his pandas entered the house. Xander, wearing a full football uniform, bent over and ran into pandas' ass. Can it be a slip and slide? Slip and slides are now necessary, yes. You slip and slide into pandas' ass. And pandas, your immediate reaction would have been... Ooh. <laughs> Alright, we have two layers. We do need the third layer of the... Panda dragon fucking fucking. Oh, panda dragon. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> if it involves dragons, we need cars. <laughs> oh, oh, we, we, drive, we drive a Buick of Xander's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and why can we do that, everyone? He's pop dragon! <laughs> so that makes it a uh, pandruic. Pandruic. <laughs> I will. As an artist, no. I will draw a lot of things, but this is not one of them. I draw the lion at Sexy Kiwi. <laughs> Reenact it with the puppets. <laughs> I forgot about the puppets. <laughs> Every once in a while, Xander will bring the puppets around the house, and it scares the shit out of me. So the thing is, now you just gotta like, you're gonna walk up to the RC car, like like a hobby store. He's like, oh, why are you buying this RC car? We're shoving it up a puppet's ass. <laughs> the worst part is, if it's a hobby store, they're like, yeah, we just need the money. <laughs> kind of reminds me of all the body parts we have spread over our house. I was gonna say, is that puppets worse than the body parts that are all over our house? <laughs> so we have mannequin parts everywhere. So we we had this yeah we had this leg like a mannequin leg, and it was it's Paul the leg, which uh, has a Twitter account by the way. It has more followers than any of us. <laughs> um, and it, it, Paul goes to parties, Paul travels, Paul goes to cons. But anyway, Paul had, Paul had an adventure last MFF that didn't even involve oh, me. Oh, Paul got bedazzled, then Paul had a sex change. Paul had a, oh, had a fursuit for a while. What um, is happening? But anyway, so Paul it, was, it, my it became a thing, and then our fans started sending us 
just mannequin parts. So now, in our living room, and in our kitchen, we just kind of like, people come over and they're like, oh, you have like a man's torso over there. We're like, yeah. If you have cops come over, they're going to think there's bodies in the basement. Okay. Right away. So, I okay. actually have a story similar to that. My brother is okay. an, my brother's an artist, and so he um, he's like, oh, I always wanted to do this one art piece with a mannequin where I write stuff all over it. And what ended up happening is he got the freaking mannequin, didn't tell me, it's in the trunk of my car, and I'm just like, I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not going to jail. <laughs> okay, after that, I told him, get it out of the car, I'm going to get pulled over, and I'm going to have questions, and I don't know how to answer them. So we put it in the garage, and because I was working on this thing in the garage, every time I walked in, it's like, I was like, ha! <laughs> Damn it. That As, mannequin is your friend now. Alkaline. No, the mannequin, like, it was great. It was great having the mannequin there because it was like, I'm sleepy, I'm sleepy, I'm working later. And, oh, okay, I'm awake now. And then it's like one day I walk in, it's like, Yo! Yo, bro! <laughs> Why the fuck does the mannequin have tassels on it now? <laughs> we have a duct tape dummy that lives in our basement. Yeah, I was gonna say we have a duct tape dummy living in our basement. Where, where did that even come? Didn't you guys find it somewhere? It was AC. It's Clarissa. Yeah, it has a name. It has a name. It was in all the differently videos. It was thrown off a building. Yeah. If you Wait, seen that's called hoarding. You're hoarders. <laughs> Outline. Yeah, we still have the. Do you want to tell everyone what happened when Sears went out of business across from your fur oh, collar? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so the, the fast version of it, because a lot of people here have heard it. The Sears across from First Square, the convention that I run, went out of business. Their last day in business was the Friday of our convention. <laughs> and the following call came out over the radio. This is security to, uh, eh, just listen. There are mannequins all over the hotel. <laughs> Please advise, because these guys went across the street to Sears, and apparently somebody said, how much for all your mannequins? <laughs> So, I, I just want to know, do all the other appendages, do they have names and Twitter accounts? Like, do you have like a Harry the Head and, you know, Bob the Buttocks? There was a pair of legs that went around everywhere. Yeah, they're in our basement right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Everybody signed them and somebody signed it on the crotch, Dragor. <laughs> I, need, I need you guys to have all the mannequin parts to have their own Twitter and then form Mannequin Voltron. <laughs> and I'll form the butts. <laughs> you missed me at AC, though. Oh, that was bad. I heard. I heard. I was armed and dangerous. Oh, <laughs> that was you. <laughs> yeah, I heard too because I have access to security logs. <laughs> so why don't you tell them what you did, asshole? <laughs> what did you do with the hands? A lot of things. Oh, was this with the cop? <laughs> I thought it was going to start. Is this the thing with the cop that I remember you telling me about? <laughs> It is one thing to get handsy with a cop. It is another thing if in the official report there are quotations around handsy with a cop. <laughs> Along with won't stop making puns. <laughs> you were like on a roll. I was a bit stuck. It was really bad. Alright, so we went from turducken to... Mannequins. Mannequins. And the most ironic thing is that we all have mannequin stories. That's <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> this one's from Eggman. Hi, Eggman! Eggman! Hi, Eggman! Hi, Eggman! Eggman? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eggman asks, have any of you played Delta Rune? Any thoughts? It's really good. It's, it's a lot of porn. It's really good. No! It's it's a lot of did you really just say I've made a lot of porn of it? No, I said there's a lot of porn. <laughs> oh, okay. Ralph is adorable! What? Yes, which makes it that much better to burn. Okay. I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting turned on. <laughs> oh, it's such a hard on right now. Mm. I want Zillian to draw the art of it. No! No! <laughs> 
Okay, so it sounds like a lot of us have not played this game. <laughs> no. No. Sandra, just... you played it? What do you yeah. think Delta Fantastic. Room? I saw so many uh, cute cheap boys wandering. I saw like three or five of them. The, the, the one in the green. Rousey. Rousey. Rousey, yeah. It's fantastic. When I saw the game out, when I saw the game come out, I was just like, shit, come on, the Undertale Phantom just died. It's back. I know, and it's... <laughs> But I do like, I I'm love Xander playing all of these new games, some of these games are like indie games. Has he played Shower with my dad? I've had to I, Yes! I have played There were too many dads, I couldn't do it. There were too many dads. In order to win Shower with your dad, you have to save 69 dads. I couldn't save them all. Yeah, it was too difficult. It's actually a fun game. It is a really fun game. It has good music too. Did you get past 69 dads? No! <laughs> What is this game called again, and is it streamable? Yes. 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 The first achievement is, it's now in your achievements. You can't hide it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's really clever. Another question? Uh, last, I think this is the last question. Yep, last question from Erner. Oh, Erner couldn't make it. Yeah, he make I'm here. Oh, God. Don't oh. pre-read it. Sorry. Don't pre-read it. No, no, I saw something in there. It's like, oh, wait, hold on. No, it's, it's fine. Oh. I'm so far away from MFF right now and feeling a little lonely. Aww. So we're all going to need a little bit of help. Guys, if you know what we're talking about, join in. If you don't, join in twice as much. Tell me a pod dragon fairy tale, would you, Dragon Show? Oh my god. Once upon a time, there was a dragon with an insatiable asshole. Go! <laughs> no matter what he stuffed in it, it was like a massive black hole sucking in all of its surroundings. Go! <laughs> Try as he might, nothing was satiable. So, he looked on E621. <laughs> the tags that matched what he was into but could find nothing. His craving was insatiable. I don't... That's alright. Okay. Hold on, he's asexual. I want to hear what the asexual has to say. Okay, alright. <laughs> His craving was sensational. He went out on the streets, begged, begged, I need more, but no one answered. Sander? So he went out on the streets begging, please, could you spare me some change to shove things up my ass? <laughs> And change they gave him, that's right, the Canadian toonie, one of the largest coins out there. <laughs> And he, like a slot machine, hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're an improv artist. I can fuck with you. <laughs> there it was, jammed inside. The queen smiling outward at anyone observing it. <laughs> Little did you know that a simple tug on the front lets you coins from the back. <laughs> Not even everyone in the reg line was enough to satisfy. <laughs> Some of you are in there. <laughs> And then when Pod Dragon did indeed, did indeed shit out the royal coin, it was a royal flush. Sandra, I gotta say, that was a solid ending, unless he just had peppers, then it's not so solid. Oh my god, it's tradition. That's yeah, tradition. okay, so... I'm an engineering student. I don't understand Chipotle. It breaks the second law of thermodynamics. It goes in cold and it comes out hot. How does that work? Magic. That's a really good question. That's you. Chemistry. The human Chemistry. body is a catalyst. Welcome to, welcome to Chipotle, where we defy the laws of physics. Welcome to Chipotle. It's a basic reaction would you choose today? Welcome to Chipotle. You're playing Russian roulette with your colon. Good luck. Which strain of E. coli would you like? Welcome to Chipotle! <laughs> oh, man, I can't remember the guy's name, so I've never heard of him.
always get this really funny image that Majira's like the only person that goes to his Chipotle and he's like the only one keeping them in business. <laughs> well, with the Chipotle, we, we make Neil deGrasse Tyson cry. I have a story. Okay. Oh my oh. God. It's about a uh, Chinese restaurant near my, my parents' house, actually. Not, not where I live anymore, but... This isn't Chipotle. You know, it's not Chipotle. You know this story, I believe. And it involves a deer. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> So, one day, for whatever reason, and it's mostly like a takeout place, for some reason, so a car hit a deer. Does anyone like venison? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And the owner of the restaurant saw it happen through the window and thought, hmm. He went outside, and they decided to get the deer, and they decided to bring it into the restaurant and slaughter it in the kitchen. Wait, 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 you're forgetting a major part of the story. There's a lot of details, details, lot of details but I'm going to slowly give you guys the details here. So, it was in operating hours. It was, if, if they had done this not during business hours, and it was private, and it was done in back, it probably would have been okay. But this was during business hours. Oh, God. With people in the restaurant. While a health inspector sat inside. And instead of carrying it in, they dragged it in, not through the back door, but through the front of the restaurant, blood <laughs> trailing oh, through the restaurant. <laughs> And they would have passed food safety inspection if it wasn't for that. And all of the reviews on YouTube or uh, on Google and on Yelp and everything, all of them mention the deer incident. They'd be like, oh yeah, my wife and kids like we like to play, you know, except for the deer incident. Uh, but it's pretty good, you know, like four so good, except for the deer incident. And then, my general towels taste like venison. <laughs> they have a great birthday cake, but they drug they drug Bambi through the front door. One star. <laughs> The restaurant lasted about another year and a half, and then it eventually closed. Yeah, that did not close it. In New yeah, York. that didn't close it. <laughs> that wasn't enough to close a restaurant in New York. Just think about that for a second. What? Now I'm from Chicago. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we actually watched a woman do this. This is at a very, very uh, well-known Mexican restaurant in Chicago. We ordered a huge amount of food for the office. Myself and Trent went to pick it up, and we watched this old woman who is deep frying, what's the chili pepper stuff? Stuffed pepper, I don't know. Poppers. Sure, poppers. She just, she's a, there we go. Let's, so she drops it onto the floor, looks at it, looks to her right, looks to the left, and then looks directly at us and goes, <laughs> Walked over, you won't get that one, and just kept cooking. <laughs> we have gone there once a month since. <laughs> Guys, before we end this up, I just want to thank everyone up here. We are at our hours, and if you would kindly do our wonderful outroductions. All right. Outroductions. Guys, outroductions, everybody, here's Zillion.
Uh, keep your eye on your Twitter, your Telegrams. We might send it out to our wonderful fans. Uh, but it's just not something that's going to go out to the general public because it is horrible. <laughs> so in lieu of that... What's up? Until everyone records it on their cell phones. Oh no, we know that's going to happen, but we're just trying to wait for us to get, you know, shot. <laughs> so at this point, we are going to go over to the charity story, which if you don't know the rules for this, if you have a recording device, if you have anything like that, please turn them off right now. Guys, we are going to tell you the story of Street Babies. If you have recording devices,